How to assemble the swap top diamond trim saw. Here's a look at our parts. Let's get started. You're going to need the swap top base unit, the swap top variable speed motor unit and its power cord, the trim saw work surface, the blade guard and its Allen wrench, six and a half inch diamond blade, the arbor and nut set with its Allen wrench, the water drip add-on kit assembled, the plastic drain hose, a container for it to empty into, and you can follow along in the instructions that are included with your machine. We're going to start by putting the blade onto the arbor. A diamond blade does not have a cutting direction, so it doesn't matter how you mount it. Insert the blade onto the arbor. The nut has a threaded and unthreaded side. You want to put the unthreaded side towards the blade and then finger tighten in place by turning to the left or counterclockwise. This is a reverse thread. We're going to set it aside for a minute. The motor unit has a brown disc called a slinger over the shaft. It is very important that this stays in place, keeps water out of the motor. With the flat side of the motor shaft up, we're going to slide the arbor onto the motor shaft with the nut towards the motor unit, making sure the set screw on the arbor lines up with the flat of the shaft. We're going to seat the motor into the base, slide the blade so it sits about in the middle of the well, line the motor up, push down to seat it, position the blade so that it is in the middle of the well, making sure that you still have the set screw lined up with the flat side of the motor shaft, secure it in place with the Allen wrench. There's a handy place on the side of the machine to store that Allen wrench. The work surface top has spring-loaded latches that secure it. There's also fins on the base that look inside the blade well of the base unit. Push the latches in, line everything up. Push down, you'll hear the latches pop into place. Should be able to pick the whole unit up by the top. The blade guard is a safety feature and it's what feeds the coolant onto the blade as the saw is running. The blade guard inserts into the slot located on the back of the saw behind the blade. And then you adjust the height of the blade guard using the Allen wrench to loosen the set screw and slide it up or down as needed, making sure that you clear the blade. When it's set, tighten in place. It's important that you never run your diamond trim saw without proper lubrication for the blade, and this comes from the water drip add-on kit. It's installed by inserting the legs into the holes located in the back of the machine. Simply pull the legs apart and slide them down. The other end of the tube attaches to the nipple on the blade guard. If it's tight fitting, loosen it by soaking in hot water for a few minutes. The drain tube attaches to the back of the saw and the drain stem. And then the other end goes into a receptacle placed on the floor down below. This allows coolant to run through your saw. The power cord attaches to the back of the machine. Plug the one end into the outlet on the back of the machine. The plug goes into a grounded power source. Turn on the machine, fill the coolant reservoir, open and adjust the drip rate on the blade, 
you want a nice little puddle and you're all set to saw.